Hello! In today's video, we're going to be talking about transitioning your summer wardrobe into your autumn wardrobe. I feel like I always get super excited and inspired by fall fashion, but sometimes the weather isn't exactly there yet. So it's great to build outfits in this transitional period. And then I also think that creating outfits in this transitional period when it's not too cold yet, but it's also not hot either, is a great way to get more use of the items that you already own in your closet. The first and easy way to transition your wardrobe from summer to fall is to take a dress that is traditionally a summer or spring dress and pop some boots on with it. Now this is not going to work for every summer or spring dress you have in your wardrobe. Things like a linen or very light fabrics that are just very obviously summer dresses, it's not going to work. But you probably do have a few dresses that will work. I find that floral dresses especially work for this. There's something about them. And I would encourage you, even if it is a lighter colored dress or skirt, you can still pair some light colored boots with them. This light pink floral dress that I have is perfect for this because even though it is a light floral dress, it does have the long sleeves. I paired it with my gray over the knee boots. These are my Stuart Weitzman boots. They're a bit fancy schmancy. I got them from the Outnet a few years ago, which is a great place to look for really high quality designer pieces that are on sale. But over the knee boots are great if you want to wear a dress or a skirt, something a bit more feminine, but you do want to transition it into the colder months. And you don't have to only pair your boots with mini length dresses or skirts. I personally love the mini length, but this totally works for midi or even maxi length skirts. I've seen some really cute outfits girls have put together with a maxi skirt and the boots coming up underneath. Another great way to transition these lighter pieces into the colder months is with lightweight jackets, coats, or even cardigans. I love a beautiful wool coat, but there is nothing worse than when you have the wool coat on and you're way too hot and way too suffocated, but then you take it off and and then you're too cold. It's just really frustrating. So having a beautiful lightweight coat or jacket that you can use for layering is super helpful. I personally recommend a classic trench coat. You guys know that I am a fan of a trench. This is my Jack Wills trench coat and this is about knee length and I have it in a classic camel color. But you could really do a trench coat in any color or any pattern these days. And they're just great because they're weather resistant, they're water resistant, but they're also light enough that I can layer underneath. Another way to transition into colder weather outfits is tights. Not revolutionary, I know, but I feel like tights are underappreciated. At least I underappreciate them. Black tights are such a great staple. They go with many things and they are quite slimming too, which is good. If you are going to wear black tights, I personally recommend to do a black shoe with it. Maybe a darker color shoe at a stretch, but black because it actually tricks the eye into making your leg look elongated and longer. Basically, it doesn't break your leg at one point where the shoe goes. It sort of makes it all look long and it's a really flattering look. So I always pair my black tights with my little black flats. Now one thing I do want to try is white tights. I actually saw a girl on Instagram only this morning and she had the most beautiful outfit and she was wearing white tights with white shoes and I was like, you know what? I could get into this. I can get amongst this. What do you guys think about white tights? I feel like it either could go really right or really wrong. I don't know. <laughs> the only thing is not many brands make make white tights. I feel like it's only high-end brands like Gucci make them. I'm just not feeling spending $200 on white tights. But if I can find a cheaper option, I might look into it and try it. Another fun thing to do in this transitional period, and this is great to really get into the fall spirit, but you don't necessarily have to be having all these bulky layers on, is actually starting to incorporate fall colors and fall textures in your clothes. So fall colors like deep reds and maroons, oranges, rust colors. I also find that starting to wear cream instead of white is a really good transition. And this doesn't have to be traditionally fall colors. Say if you really love yellow, you can start going into more mustard yellows for the season. Or personally, I love green, so instead of wearing a mint green, I'll go into emerald greens in this season. You can also do this with the texture of your clothes. For instance, I have this beautiful 
brown skirt on, which is definitely four colors, but the texture of it is heavier than you would find in summer fashion. Incorporating pieces at a time until the weather is cold enough is a really great way to transition your wardrobe. Another item that is a really helpful transition piece is a vest. I am so into vests. I am a particular fan of a sweater vest. And luckily for us, they're actually becoming on trend this year. I did recently pick up this gray sweater vest for the Dark Academia lookbook video that I just did on my channel. I got this from ASOS. So it definitely has an academic schoolgirl look to it. I am also on the lookout for a cricket style cable knit sweater vest. I think that would be really cute in a cream color and that would also be a really good transitional item to own. And then of course you can go for a puffy vest too. Those are quite fun and give an equestrian feel. Vests are just such a classic look and also for practicality reasons they're great. Keeping your torso warm but of course then you have full range of mobility which I always appreciate. And those are some ways that you can transition your summer wardrobe into your fall wardrobe. I hope that these tips were helpful and I also hope that they might inspire you to take another look at some items that you already have in your closet. I know there's always a lot of pressure. I mean, it's just fashion marketing that once summer's over, like everybody has to go out and buy full stuff. But I truly believe that everybody has pieces in their wardrobe that can be these transition pieces and then you can wear them more often. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I make two fashion and lifestyle videos every single week and I would love for you to join me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.